Hello everyone, this is John Crate. We're back in Diablo 3. Please look, you won't be disappointed. I will give you the Black Soul Stone. But you if were treacherous. You yeah, we already went through this last time. Uh, I'm going to go with you. We should bring Cool's head with us. Maybe he'll have something useful to say. I'll put him in your bag. My mother has been teaching me magic and how to control my power, but I feel like I'm constantly disappointing her. She says that I have a gift, but it doesn't feel that way. Maybe it will improve if I keep practicing. For now, we are getting closer to the Black Soul Stone, and that's what really matters. Is it frozen? I do not understand your riddles. What is it you mean? Oh, all will be revealed in time. <laughs> I think it's helping me that um, work is giving me more to do with it. Or at least today, I probably should for the rest of the week. On how it's looking. Alright, yeah, at least for the rest of the week, based on how it's looking. And I got some more, I think it was actually given some more. Artifacts with Uncle Deckard, even though it did have its dangerous side. I can't tell you how many times I had to drag him away from an army of skeletons because he was fixated on some of dusty up. old tapestry. That's where we got the skeletons. Harder to pick which direction to go. Because if they see enemies, they're just gonna take off. had learned all they could, Akan sent them out into the world, seeking a way to cleanse the corruption that coiled at the heart of the Zakarum faith. There was no clear goal for them to pursue, and some clerics claimed it was a fool's errand, that they could never succeed, but these crusaders would not be deterred. And seize our companions. Help! Please help me! What is that noise? 
Oh no! They found us! The Imperial Guards left me here to die. But you saved me. Thank you. We will seek these guards you speak of. They will be punished for this. No time for pleasantries. I think I may have uncovered Bilal's assumed identity. I'm very close. But here's what you need to know. To find Kool's blood, we need to get through the aqueducts. There are two levers that control the entrance beneath the waterfall. Have you located Belial? Not yet, but I have some ideas. It is difficult. I have many advisors and other attendants close to me day and night. I will find him. How are you able to appear before us? They keep a close watch on me. I can't leave the palace. I stole an amulet from the Vigera ambassador. I saw music before. But I don't have much time. You need to find the stone. Leave the loud to me. He did not really answer your question. Who oh, are? Uh. Here we go. The spirits are unsettled in this place. They warn me of coming danger. It's Belial. So long as he lives, all of Chaldeum is under siege. Uncle Deckard theorized that the demon lords leave demons in their wake, much like us leaving footprints. Do you believe that? Yes. The more I study my uncle's books, the more I realize that even I took his wisdom for granted. Of course you did. I thought he was that they were all stories. Now get away. Ooh. A death bludgeon. Please. That's a big damage boost. Oh, she can't use that legendary weapon that I have, though. Thought I could give it to her. Nope. Wolf. Oh, look at that. So like the blue ones are easy to figure out because those are all prefixed and suffix. It's the yellow ones that are the color. We've got to have books on the black soul stone. Ah. Something I can understand the That is what 
I have trained for. That's one lever down. I think we were meant to come this way. Perhaps someone waits for us down here? Kill one and just get rushed. with demons and smells of rot. Swarm. Yes. And built on secrets. Charge. Zombie dog, you sacrifice says no, I don't need that. Gain mana, no, what's this? Sacrifice. Oh, yeah, this is the one that we want. Sacrifice all of your dogs at once. Is the new locust worm? For now, let's go with Cloud. Enemies affected deal less damage, because I'm usually only going to use that on a boss anyway, so... No. Humongoid is what we're going for now. There's a weapon I'll 
next strike. should lead to the desolate sands. A secret door hidden behind the waterfall. How imaginative. You would do better. You shall see when we get to my archives. Yeah. Hello? Is there anyone alive out there? Go, uh, free the jeweler. Hello! Is there anyone alive out there? <sighs> Are you still alive out there? Or is it the monsters? Thank you for releasing me. It was getting a little boring in there. Uh, I, I, I am seeking a magic crucible that legend says was hidden in these very aqueducts. <laughs> it, it would be a valuable addition to my jeweler's tools. <laughs> Help me find it, and I will be greatly indebted to you. <laughs> oh, how rude of me. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Covetous Shen. That is an odd name. Oh, uh, do you think so? I often... I can't imagine why my young partner bashed me over the head and sealed me in there. This place is quite dangerous without a knowledgeable guide. Old one, this is no place for you. Are you not afraid to die? Why should I fear something I've never done? It could be interesting. And you thought I was odd. Yeah, What a fascinating place this is. Oh, look at all this wonderful architecture. You could walk all the way around the world and never find its like. Uh, except for this part. I've seen this somewhere else before. We haven't really talked much to the, to the crafters. Let's get some of their story. Oh, no, I figured it's kind of boring, so I didn't think it would be Now, I wonder where my young guide got off to. His name was Gavin, I believe. Yes, that was it. <laughs> nice young fellow. He must still be around here also. Eh? Or perhaps he got lost? No, we're not lost, are we? Uh, we should be up ahead. You know, it was actually quite an interesting experience to be locked up in the barrel. <laughs> I had a lot of time to think to myself. It was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was... It's mine! Uh, be careful, Gavin. It might be cursed. <gasps> Here, I 
I did warn them. Uh, the crucible should be safe now. Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. But it's cursed. <gasps> Poor little man. If I had known the crucible was cursed, I never would have brought him along. <laughs> If you come see me in Chaldeum, I can show you how the Crucible can combine jewel fragments. <laughs> well, you know, I've been searching for a certain jewel for a long, long time. I'm in no rush. But maybe if I go with you, I'll find it just like I found this Crucible. May I come with you on your journey and make glorious jewelry for you? That would be useful. Now let us leave this place. Oh, the way out is just a little farther. I am starving. Do you think we'll find any good food down here? I do not think you will find it. You go on ahead. I'm going back to town. I need to learn the spell needed to restore Kuro's body. I'll meet you when you get to the archives. She's going back. So we need to find two vials of blood. In the cave of the betrayer and the vault of the assassin. Huh? You and I are the same. But those others, the fallen angel, the witch, they're using you for their own ends. You choose to be their puppet, yet the power of your birthright could make you a god. I feel no such temptation, Zoltan Kuhl. Look where your desires have gotten you. There's no need to be snide. Soon enough, I'll walk this world again. Then I'll show you what a Nephilim can achieve. Sultan Kuhl, before he became his prisoner. Reminder. That looks like a superior weapon. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That means she can have the pummeling sledgehammer of the mind. If you insist. Oh, but I do. You will 
always have the second best weapon, don't worry. <laughs> Another boss. Savage Spine. The evil of Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, was so pervasive that even after he had been defeated and entombed in a soul stone, his demonic essence oozed upwards into Travancore and corrupted the Zakarum priest. Though he fell to the same heroes who killed his brothers, I fear for us should he ever return. and there would be no need to have another Diablo game. We're gonna win and everything will be fixed forever. Don't get this. It was foolish to expect otherwise. Kool has prepared for many years for someone to come for him. Perhaps we are fools. And yet, we must push on. Finally, I have unlocked the secret of the soul stones once given to the Horadrum by Tyrael. An impressive creation, to be sure. But one that I am certain can be duplicated. No. Oh. Not just duplicated, improved upon. My soul stone will be made to contain the souls of many demons, or even angels. 
Bale was the most brash and reckless of the prime evils. After the Dark Exile, he was contained within the Herodrim Tal Rasha and entombed. Centuries later, Diablo freed Bale, who then corrupted the World Stone to devastating effect for the barbarians who lived near Mount Ariat. The heroes killed Bale shortly afterward. bottom section of the map since it keeps drawing me this keeps drawing me the this way. Only the Zakarim have endeavored to make Chaldean a city of mercy and salvation, but we have not yet been able to convince the emperors to change the ancient policy of exile. Prisoners convicted of treason are still sent to the desolate sands to die with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Burdened. I need to oh. go back. Might as well go back. New goods today. Please look. We can uh, listen to what some of these guys have to say. Oh, ice bounty. It's probably better than what the one he's got. These guys have stories too. So let's it is good too. First, let's uh, see what we can put on him. We can use Sage's Crack and the Vice Bounty. He doesn't have a ring. Let us seek our fortunes together. Oh, this will do more damage. He can have that. I guess he can have that for now. Because I don't have anything better. Oh, let's get his skills ready here. Range attack that slows enemies. Shoots a deadly poison bolt. We'll go with the slow. That's my one. choice too. Blinds in front nearby enemies or temporarily vanishes when in danger? No, I think we want the blinding one. Let's see. Deals damage in an area that has a chance to stun effects, or the scoundrel will shoot multiple bolts at once, and he can have an attack, and the scoundrel special attacks have a chance to fire multiple bolts. So I'm thinking multi shot. Uh, critical hits 
cause you and the scoundrel to temporarily deal more damage or increase his critical hit chance. Let's go with the critical hit chance. So here, let's talk to some of these people. Let's talk to her first. How long have you looked for me? Well, it was not very easy to find you. I had to search for days. When I woke up alone, I did not know what had happened. I wrote about it a little. You may read more if you wish. I felt no fear when they sealed the tomb before me. Only a sense of peace as my mind drifted away into the darkness. It seems I opened my eyes only seconds later and beheld the chamber in ruins, half buried in sand. I have left everything behind. Only hope guides me now. Tell me about your time. Beautiful cities towered up toward the heavens, but they were full of wickedness. The Vigerai ruled them with wills sharp as stone. Who were the Vigerai? A clan of mages, bound more by their lust for power than by blood. I see that their influence has waned in this age. Was the Prophet one of them? Oh no. He meant to punish the Vigerai. They were the first to summon demons into this land. Is everything as the Prophet said? Well, I did not expect you to keep company with the Seraph. You mean Tyriel? I knew what he was the instant I beheld him. But being in his presence makes me quite nervous. Why? He is here to aid us. We do not deserve it. Tyriel sacrificed all he knew to aid us. I hope it is worthwhile. Sometimes I feel something different in you. It is merely the consequence of seeing that which is not readily visible. I have accepted it. We are both unusual to most, I think. I enjoy traveling with you for this reason. Then you have my thanks. Although, perhaps you are right. I feel as though part of me still sleeps in a faraway realm. Maybe you need more time. That would be nice. But the feeling I have indicates that it is more unpleasant and complicated than that. Oh, it is. Do you know what became of your sisters? They should have awakened as well, but their mission has already ended. How? I sought out the closest two before I met you. They lay dead and mutilated in their chambers. The others are some distance away. I fear the worst. We killed them. There were traces of demonic magic upon their wounds. Surely the Prophet could have protected them. Where is he gone? I welcome the chance to travel with you. Now for you, Lyndon. Where do you come from? Kingsport, a city by the sea. Home to the great merchant fleets and endless nets of reeking fish. And your trade? I am between jobs at the moment. That is not an honest answer. Nonsense. I am the most honest thief you will ever meet. Wanted. One relic, scarlet, roughly the size of a man's fist. It was stolen two months past during a deplorable theft from the Merchant's Guild Bank. Those apprehended were not in possession of the item. Uh, the relic is greatly missed by its rightful owner, or who offers a reward for its safe return. It is strange that you waste your time in pursuit of women. Waste? Time is scarcely better spent. But you stay with none of them. I've only found one worth keeping, but she slipped away from me. I see. You bother women to ease the steam. Well, no. Sometimes they should bother me. <laughs> you are a skilled fighter. My brother taught me when we were younger. He thought the crossbow was the best weapon for me, since it would give me time to run away if I botched things too badly. Where is he now? Oh, he's still in Kingsport. I expect he'll be there a good long time. How did you become a thief? That's a long and terrible story that you wouldn't want to hear. You found something you liked and couldn't afford? Basically. Perhaps you should be more reasonable. Oh, there was nothing reasonable about her. Do you ever doubt your choices? I ponder them before, not after. Things never seem to turn out like I hope they will. Trust the spirits. They will guide you. Try living in the slums before you lecture. I see you carry great pain. 
Do you have any other family? My brother and I were orphans. We only had each other. Is he a thief also? No. He was a member of the city guard. That seems odd. Not as much as you might think. Until the end, that is. Why did you not follow your brother into the guards? We're not much alike, really. He was always dependable and practical. A complete bore, I'd say. And you were drawn to trouble? Hardly. I was just amusing myself with the Thieves' Guild. It was nothing serious. Until you became a criminal. <laughs> well, that may have been serious. What happened to your brother? Nothing you'd want to hear. I would not ask if I didn't. And then what? I suppose you'll make it all right. You'll fix it up just like another one of your little errands. Some things aren't that easy. And some things are made harder than they should be. Gods. You're so noble about it, too. Spare me. Why did you even come with us? Tell me, have you ever truly loved a woman? Ah, yes. The unreasonable one I spoke of earlier. I loved her with every inch of my heart before it went black as coal. Where did she go? Well, she did what all unreasonable women do. Married the wrong man. You did not steal her back? Wouldn't have been easy. He was my brother. Mm. Okay. Okay, Templar. I do not know much of your order. Were you born a Templar? No. Our scripture says, as a farmer reaps his wheat, so must the order harvest and purify the weeds. You say you are a weed. I think that even weeds have their purpose under the sun and moon. No. They strangle, they corrupt, and the crop fails. I was lucky to be taken when I was. The spirits say that you hang a mantle of shame on your shoulders. What crimes haunt you? I cannot tell you. You are a good man, the spirits say. Unburden your heart, my friend. You misunderstand me. We are literally unable to recall our pasts. The Inquisitors strip my sins and the memory of them from me, leaving me pure. Tell me more of your order. Why do they steal your past? Our initiation blinds us to our sinful pasts, so that we might clearly see the future and prepare for the final battle. By what magic does your order strip a man of his memory? I was chained to a wall and beaten. By the third day, I was mad from pain and hunger. And that is when the whipping began. I was told I relived all of my transgressions. Everything that brought me tainted joy. The whip took away that joy. And the sin, leaving me pure. In the Teganze, corrupt priests sacrificed men for their personal gain. Even they did not expect the men to be grateful. Don't you understand? The Templar Order is trying to protect humanity from extinction. What is my pain against that goal? In my time, I have often argued with the spirits. I did not always believe they knew the true path for me. I do not understand. No, you do not. When the spirits and I look at you, we agree. We say this is a good man. There is no darkness in him. There never was. Confront what you call your sins, and I say you will find nothing there. Test your faith, and prove me wrong. I cannot lie. That has occurred to me. But if it were true, it would ruin everything I fight for. Everything! I have considered what we discussed, and you are correct. I know little about my past, beyond what my order has told me. But what does it matter? Look what they have done for me. They've turned me into a living weapon, a light against darkness. I am not sure that the darkness you speak of is not in the order you serve. You must be able to remember your past to know the truth. I wouldn't know how to begin. How do I seek memories that have been taken from me? Ground or Tatsu root would uncover every memory in your head, or make you blind. 
It is a dangerous route. You may be right. I will find a way to take back my memories and exonerate my order. I have thought of a way to retrieve my lost memories, but it is dangerous. I must ask you to promise me something. Should I lapse into my old sins, whatever they may be, you must kill me as I killed John Dar. I still say I see no darkness in you, but tell me your plan. I found a journal on John Dar's corpse, written in an ancient Templar cipher. I can translate it, but it will take some time. Perhaps studying his treachery will give me a clue into my past. Fear haunts your words. Why? John Dar was once a man of faith, devoted to the Templar Order. What if he discovered something that made him betray himself? That matters not, for I must do this anyway. I have translated a strange passage from John Dar's journal. Long before he began serving Magda, he found a set of what he called key words hidden in a dusty leaf room. He writes that when he read these words, memories from his past returned to torment him. It was at that point that he began to mistrust the Order, though he did not say why. I am prepared to look upon these words and risk my soul. But I want you to understand something. I know I may die at any time. When I do, it must be without a single doubt that I am serving the light. You test your faith. There is no shame in that. Thank you, my friend. But please, remember your promise. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll definitely kill you. You don't gotta worry about that. Who else can we talk to? Not him. He's not actually part of what we do. Miriam, we haven't actually rescued yet. She doesn't come until uh, the final act. Or no, I'm sorry, second to final act. But because I've recovered her in other, because I've gotten her in other on other characters, that's why we have her here. Same with, uh, with uh, that's why we had covetous Shen beforehand. You may notice that jewels you find enhance your already considerable ability to the moment, but it doesn't have to be just. He just uh. Ah, oh, very interesting topic. <laughs> I sell jewels. What you do does not define you. Where do you come from? Siang Sai! Great families, war in the streets, political intrigue, and bottomless wells of treachery around every corner. I notice that you still tell me nothing of yourself. Oh dear. Perhaps you are not asking the right question. I knew you would lead me to exciting and mysterious places we should encounter the jewel I seek any day now. Tell me of this jewel. What does it look like? Uh, sometimes a ruby, other times a glorious emerald, or a stunning diamond. <laughs> it is very good at hiding. <laughs> so, it is aware. There is a dark spirit within? A very good question. A dangerous question. You are getting better at them. I noticed that you did not answer me. Hmm. Yes. Well, a good question answers itself. You try to give a young man some advice, and he assumes you are the Sensai God of Thieves, traveling in disguise as an elderly jeweler. <laughs> I understand his confusion, uh, as I and I do share certain features. How strange. The spirits tell me that you are often mistaken for this god. That would be correct. Uh, but enough about me. Who are these spirits you speak to? All who die pass from this world to Imbiru Ikura, the true one. They speak to me, and some of them say they know you from times long past. Of course they do. I am very memorable. <laughs> the people of Shansai worship 59 gods, but few are more revered than Zai. The exiled trickster god who travels the face of the world disguised as a humble merchant. Tales of his adventures range from ingenious thefts and practical jokes to more lurid exploits, none of which I'm comfortable recording here. 
<laughs> I think I might have met Sultan Cool once. Uh, he seemed like a perfectly reasonable sort to, for a mage, uh, that is. A mage is so different. Oh, yeah. Well, you know how they can be. With the waving hands and the mumbling all the time, uh, they can be a little strange. Hey, Bob. You're looking at me in a very strange manner. My spirits are confused. This is not something that happens. Some think you are God, others a man. Which are you? Ah, philosophy. Can a man not be bold? Ah, can I not live well and give generously and live a perfectly holy life? I do not know. Can you? Oh, definitely not. It's tremendously boring. I'd rather eat too much and sleep late. Is there anything else? No. That's all for now on Covetous Shen. Now for Hadric. I wish to hear more of your grandfather. He served King Leore. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the skeleton king fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. It takes strength to stand against the dark. Thank you for your grandfather's sacrifice. You spoke of your father before. I would like to hear of him. My father was a diplomat. We had a manor in Chaldeum, servants, terraces, all of that. Everything changed when the trouble started. Somehow, rumors spread that my grandfather was responsible for the king's madness. My father's work fell apart. No one would speak to him. He kept believing it would blow over, though. Did it? No. I'd rather not talk about it now, if you don't mind. I've work to see to. I can tell by the look in your eye that you're not going to leave it alone. You want to hear what happened to my father? Anyone can see that he pulls at you. Right, well, my father tried to dispel the rumors about my grandfather. No one would listen. And one night, a week later, crazed refugees from Tristan came for revenge. I remember my father screaming for us to get out. Nasty laughter. A lot of it. Just before justice shoved me out the window, I saw my father crawling up the stairs at me. Two daggers in his back, the third whipping round his throat. Why did these men kill him? Did they believe your father a traitor as well? I doubt it. Madmen don't need reasons to kill. Just bleed. Did you think that you would return to Chaldeum? I told myself I'd never come back here. And yet here I am. Because of what happened to your father? Because of what happened to me. Some scars don't heal. There's no point in scratching at them, is there? The weather doesn't suit me either. Have these lands changed much since you were here last? Last time I passed through here was soon after meeting Mira. She wanted to stop and see the city, but I convinced her to travel on. My good memories of Chaldeum feel like I'm watching someone else's life. I'll be glad for us to be gone. Is this where you met your wife? It's actually quite a tale. We met in a town not far from here on the outskirts of Curast. She was... Well, you're not going to believe it. She was locked in a cage. She was a breaker of laws? No. They were going to burn her as a witch. Your wife was a witch? Let's talk about this another time. <laughs> How about right now? Tell me more about your wife. I broke her out in the middle of the night and we escaped. They didn't chase us far. I guess they were glad to see her go. Not many care for witches. She wasn't a witch. She was a mystic. Though we didn't find that out for a time. Not until we started traveling with a veteran wagon train. But that's a story for another time. Can you tell it now? Tell me of your time with the veteran. When we first joined the wagon train, we were just two lost souls. 
The Vetchin thought it was unbearably romantic. A pair of lovers on the run from their pasts. I suppose it might have even been true. A mystic with a Vetchin recognized Mira's talent immediately. We stayed with them while Mira learned from her. Along the way, we fell in love and married. I've never known anything as surely as my love for her. Perhaps she cast a spell on you. Never mind. That's it for you. How about some of these people? They got stars over their head. Material. Why did your fall raise the dead? You were an angel. Not just any angel. I was the Archangel of Justice. My fall awoke the vengeful dead who were slain unjustly during Diablo's reign of terror. There was nothing I could do. As my power left my body, I had absolutely no control over it. Chaldeum is the greatest city in the world, the seat of the Empire of Kedjistan. The city is indeed magnificent. Its libraries overflow with undeciphered tomes of arcane knowledge. Its streets cover labyrinthine tunnels. It is a city of wonder and mystery. I do not know how these refugees persevere. Their situation is dire, and it seems there is little hope for them. Where do they find the strength to carry on? All lives are filled with suffering, but we persevere so we might see better days. The human spirit never ceases to amaze me. I feel Belial in the very air. I see his shadow behind haunted eyes. Hear his voice whispering lies on the wind. He need not bring an army to this city. It is his already. I heard that you were there 20 years ago when Mount Ariat was destroyed. Baal, the Lord of Destruction, sought to enslave mankind to the power of hell by corrupting the sacred world stone. Unthinkable though it was, I was forced to destroy it. And much of the north with it. Understand, friend, that entire worlds burned as heaven and hell fought over the world stone. Harriet's destruction was regrettable. And believe me, I paid a high cost as well. What did you do after the world stone was destroyed? The resultant explosion dispersed the light and harmony of my angelic being. Without form or shape, I restored myself within the realm of pandemonium. It took me twenty of your years, but finally, I returned home to the high heavens. You returned as a hero? Hardly. Believing my actions had endangered creation, the Angiris Council put me, the Archangel of Justice, on trial. I knew then that heaven was doomed, unless I could enlist the aid of mankind against the coming onslaught of heaven. Three hundred years ago, I selected Kool and six others to form the Herodrum. He was a great man, who was driven mad by his long quest to hunt evil. Tell me, why did the Horadrum have to kill Zoltan Kool? He delved into powers not meant for man, trying to fashion an artifact that could fill his empty heart with the souls of angels and demons. The Horadrum had no choice but to slay him. The Order never recovered. Have you fought Belial before? Not openly. He was never one to lead an army. Always in the shadows. Much like his mentor, Mephisto. He wields intrigue and artifice as proficiently as you wield your weapons. How about you, Leah? I don't like dealing with Kool any better than you do. But I see no other way. If Adria says we must, then we must. Uncle Deckard trusted her. And so will I. I miss Uncle Deckard so much. It's hard going on without him. Cain would be proud of you, Leah. Thank you. I'm going to get back to my research. Was it difficult to abandon Leah? What? No, I never saw it that way. She grew up in safety, while I risked my life to find the key to our salvation. It was the sacrifice that I had to make. In any case, Leah will meet her full potential under my guidance. 
Do you not have things to do? I mean, not really. How well did you know Cain? For a time, during the darkening of Tristram, we spent many nights in the Tavern of the Rising Sun, discussing his Herodric texts and the buried arcana I'd collected during my travels. Had you seen him since then? Only from afar. From time to time, our paths would cross, and I would catch glimpses of Leah as she grew. It broke my heart that I could not reveal myself and raise her as my own. How did the Imperial God find you? I was trying to steal out of the city. I'd return to gather some things before setting out to recover Zoltan Kuhl's head, and the guards found me. Zoltan Kuhl, a legend. There is no doubt in my mind he is as powerful as the stories say. But for every bit of his genius, he was surely mad. He was obsessed with immortality and power. A madman. We would do better to leave him asleep in the desert than to call on him for aid. You have a better idea. I do not. It is merely a warning. Tyrael said not to trust Zoltan Kuhl. What do you think? It will be dangerous, but you have faced great peril before. If Belial and Asmodan invade, you will have much more to worry about than a dismembered wizard. After surviving the devastation in Tristram all those years ago, I swore vengeance upon Diablo and his ilk. I've sacrificed everything for it. This is my path. And I will follow it through to its bloody end. Leah has great faith in you. She has a kind heart. Is that not good? Kindness will not help us survive in these dark times. The Lord of Lies is cunning. He wears many masks to hide his shifting nature from us. But we will have an advantage over him. The Black Soul Stone. Belial fears its power, for soul stones have bested his siblings in the past, and he could be imprisoned as well. Yeah, I think that's everyone. Hey, lady, I'll I try to see keep up on lady. those instead of having to go through them all at once like that. Go away. to town. No time for your excuses. Chaldean is on the brink of rebellion, and the enemy is closing in on the archives of Zoltan Cole. Slaughter her, and bring me the Mad Wizard's head and the Black Soul Stone, or I shall inflict incomprehensible agony upon the lot of you! In thousands of years of records, I cannot find a single account of a prisoner surviving exile to the desolate sands. The wastes are littered with bones that have been picked dry by the endlessly circling bloodhawks or desperate lacuni, those who die there meet their end without the sanctity of the life. The Crusaders swore an oath to dedicate their lives to the search. None believed that they would be the one to end the crusade by finding and cleansing the corruption. They believed the search ennobled them, that the discipline of their life and journey was the true goal. The Crusader was meant to find meaning in the quest itself.
things are too exploding. <laughs> Kotarun's color brass throat of the desolate sands were created after a mage clan battle sent out explosive energies that devastated the entire area. But he doesn't account for the enormous skeletons. No one has ever identified them. Were they a lost race of giant beasts? Demons? Mythical dragons? We may never know. a mystery. Finally be able to unlock the true power of man. In ancient times, our kind possessed power unmatched in this dreary age. With the soul stone, I will be able to elevate myself to the strength of my ancestors. Your death comes! So for the temple.
fortune. I don't think that's all the bosses. This is probably the way out. Down. Shadows deepen. You must be the first. Oh, we are between man and the creatures of heaven and hell. The power housed within my stone is the very thing needed to set mankind free from demons and angels forever. My archives are at the northern tip of the desolate sands. There we will find my body and yep. the Black Soul Stone. So let's go. <laughs> oh wait, we're already at the northern part of the map. Be wary of the tar pits. 
Adi. So it already gave me the. the wait, so I guess. dangerous. I don't have to go get it. Not really, not. but they will stay in your boots. Here is the entrance to my archives. Let me activate the portal. Red. I had to build all of this for my research and my experiments. The Black Soul Stone was a complicated creation. I sacrificed much to make it. See, this is the place I was talking about. It's pretty cool. Looks like I got here just in time. Emperor Hakan? What are you doing here? Good. Everyone's together. I came to tell you. I have found the lab, and I am ready to lead you to him. Then the Lord of Lies will fall as soon as we recover the Black Soul Stone. All well and good, but first, I will be made whole. We're yeah, ready yeah. to do our part. Just you remember yours. What else do you have to say? Have you discovered Belial's identity? Yes, but he must be very careful. He has noticed your actions and he grows nervous. You focus on the soul, sir. We can confront Belial after. Beyond these portals lie two relics that were once powered by my blood. Take the vials you recovered and use them to activate the relics. I will stay here and prepare the ritual. Be careful. What are you, Leo? What do you have to say? Even after everything we've come to know about Sultan Pool, I never imagined anything like this. Maybe Adria is right about the Black Soul Stone. You doubted me. How disappointing. So we've got to go into these different, these two areas and pour his blood into some devices. Angels are no better than demons. Did you know that they once voted on whether or not to eliminate all of mankind? Only one vote saved us from extinction. I sense the hand of Tyrion in this. Yes. Whatever else he may be, he is the aspect of justice. And there is no justice in murder.
I picked up anything else other than the helmet that I'm not going to equip. Plus two intelligence. This one gives me more movement speed. I do like that. Seriously, the hunt mold. Oh yes, much better. Plus 14% firebomb damage. stored his power throughout his archives. He must have always expected to return. Oh yeah, I mean, he achieved immortality. <laughs> Off, I at the very least want to uh, get to the point where we'll probably either just go all the way through and kill him. Rip blast, that's a much better weapon. Cold damage. Knockback. Ignores it has no durability. It's just always going to be... And has a socket. You might be able to use that. In the meantime, this one is just more damage. But not enough to matter. Um, how about you? Can you use any of those weapons? You can, but none are going to be as good as that. It's weird. Like, it was the superior weapon for me, but apparently this thing is way better for her. I suppose intelligence is a bigger s driver of her damage than, than, the plus to dam than the plus to damage. Ushered in a golden age, 
But my heroic brothers could not accept man's true destiny. Shadow locks with vials of his blood, and we will hide the blood in the desert under eternal guard. I can only hope that the world does not forget the cool's evil, and his blood remains undisturbed beneath the shifting sands. Your death comes. and every crusader was a warrior of rare strength. They had mastered the power of light, of weapon and shield, and of self. Each was sworn to live as a crusader and to die as one. Two hundred years ago, they took their apprentices and set out into the eastern swamplands. They were never heard from again. Until now. Plus 10% for grasp of the dead damage. Perfect. Pure root of the mind. Oh, then enchantress thing. Look, you can give that to her. No. This is. This one gives me life per second and gain armor for five seconds. Picked up and the plus ten. The ten percent plague of toads damage is probably gonna outshine what little extra damage that give me. So you, you get a bunch of intelligence. That'll up your damage quite a bit. Magnificent. Scratching the couch. Oh, whatever this 
coasted piece of shit. I don't care. Keep scratching the couch. She only does that when she's excited. So. She can be excited. She's going kind of nuts right now. Too much. Oh, okay, I need to go back. Hey, lady, I got some new things. You should take them. Nope, no new journal there. Some of these people have new things to say, though. Now that we've gotten to the archive, so let's salvage. Also, let's identify them. of channeling. Let's see, so obviously better stuff all around. While channeling siphon blood, whirlwind rep, fire bats to just deal. Interesting. 12% summon zombie dogs. Damage. Perfect. Well, I'm not using any of those other spells, and those are, the rest of those are for the is it the wizard or the sorcerer? Whatever it is. Either way, I'll definitely equip this. Lose grasp of the dead damage, but lose the gain zombie dog damage? Of course. The Huad Trap. Uh, Locust Swarm also slows enemies by 10% and poison dart damage. Yeah. Well, no. Plague damage is better. This also gives you more vitality and more resist all elements, so yeah, we'll, we'll do it. Resist all trumps it. Resist all is just too good. Let me store all my frickin' uh, gems that I picked up. Now I have two things in my inventory, which are things that I'm not using there, so let's get rid of those. Okay, what do you have to say? Why did you go to Tristram? You know, I've asked myself that. It was Mira's idea. I wonder if she saw something and knew that I needed to be there to help you. Did she know what was going to happen all along? You had many years of love together. She would not want you to worry for her. Thank you. I need a moment alone. Ia is growing into her own. The power was always within her. Now, she's learning to control it. Did she get her power from you? I do not know where her power comes from. I spent a lifetime studying the ways of magic. It did not come so easily to me. Who else has stuff to say? Either of you. Oh, Templar does. I am prepared to read these key words. I will turn the page. Now what? They are simple words. Words that I have never seen together before. Oh, I can see everything. Water on a leaf. A burning hut. Light in my mother's eyes. Oh, make it stop! I... I... It's slowing now. I can... Oh. Oh, no! No! I was a young man. A promising soldier of Westmarch. The Order recruited me. They lied to me. Piled false sins upon me. Why do you think they did this? I do not know. But I am sure this is why John Dar turned from the Order. He was a fool. 
The Grand Maester cannot possibly know what his Inquisitors have done. When I return with the Tomes, he will punish them for their sins. Please, I must think on this. Really? You don't think the man at the top knows anything about this? They will run when there. they see us. Enchantress now is stuck. I have thought more on what I am missing. Oh? Our progress seems to clarify things for me. It is difficult to explain. If we keep going, more will come to you? Yes. The spell that sent me to this time was bound to the Prophet. Now he is missing. And some parts of me are missing as well. Lost to the ages. Some things are timeless. They will return to you. Yes, but it will take a while. My skill is not so great as the Prophet's was. The Prophet has foreseen our victory! And we haven't talked to Miriam. Let's actually just get through her stuff here. I must say, I'm very fond of this new family I find myself in. But you could be a bit more open about your love for us, you know. You do bring me joy, but love is not something to be joked about. Oh, don't try to hide it. You act like you just need us for our skills, but we know the real reason you brought us along with you. Have I ever told you that I knew Shen before he became part of our family here? Oh, he is such a sweet old fool. What a wild love we had for each other. He used to do the most surprising things, if you know what I mean. I could tell you stories that would curl your hair. Please don't. My people are shunned many places, but we were always welcomed in Chaldeum. Something must be very wrong, that they won't even let their own people into the city now. The spirits are in agreement. The city is not right. Yeah, it's called Belial. Well, you don't need visions or your spirit friends to see that Belial is in control of the city. The question is how. Those you've chosen to fight alongside you are an interesting bunch. Children after my own heart. Flawed in such interesting ways. Irena, you are quite vivacious for one with such a burden. Cormac has certainly noticed. Oh, don't pretend you haven't seen him looking at you. He'd best keep his vows in mind. Or maybe he shouldn't. And that Linden, ha, he makes me laugh. He can warm my bed any night. Reminds me of my second husband, he does. This Adria, I sense dark things about her. She is not averse to using whatever means necessary to destroy Asmodan and Belial. She will use the Black Soul Stone, no matter what the cost. Sometimes we pay a large price for what must be done. Some costs may prove too high, even for you. I worry about Leah. How is she? Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. She just needs someone looking out for her. I don't like what Zotan Kuhl is going to do to you. I told you he couldn't be trusted. Will you impart your vision to me or continue to hide what you have seen? I changed the future to save someone once. I ended up causing the deaths of three others. I've told you all I can. I promise you. No, she's got more. Tell me of the time you changed the future. There was a girl who had been toying with dark magic when I saw a demon possession in her future. She begged for my help. Since she was already tainted, simply stopping her dabbling with magic would not be enough. So I crafted her a protective charm. Unfortunately, the demon was already loosed from hell. When it couldn't possess her, it spitefully chose her father. The possessed father killed the girl's mother and sister. When the demon showed the man what he had done, he took his own life. Last I heard, the girl had been committed to an asylum. <sighs> Such sadness. Mm. Nope, it's all for her. Hey, lady, I got some Does Shen have anything for us? 
He does. I think I was wrong about the jewel I seek. Uh, it's not in this land either. Oh, what a pity. Why do you search for this jewel so persistently? Because it has killed thousands. And because I'm the only one who can hold it without harm. Because you are a god? No, because it has already taken everything from me that matters. But enough of that. I have gone too long without spiced beef and spicier wine. I could go for some spiced beef right now, oh. actually. I'm kind of hungry. Anyway, we're back. March? Ooh, marching cleats. That's better. Oh, I keep dropping them. Because in Fallout, it's box. Or in Fallout, it's, it's box to drop. 9% movement speed? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's almost as good, so we'll switch. Events. I know you, Cool. Even when you speak truly, the truth is hidden. Well, yeah, because he didn't tell us who it would be besides those two, so. Try as we might, 
cool simply cannot be killed. His cursed blood sustains him. He bleeds sand and his laughter mocks us. There is only one course of action left to us. We will separate his body and his head, and hide the body within the Shadow Realm. giving up the experience points I'm getting. I don't like this one, the Realm of Shadow. Because the enemies are as hard to see because they're all shadows as well. Bartram did all this to lock my body away. You must have been very angry with me. Are you surprised? Few people take betrayal lightly. They were never very imaginative. Hard at all. Pretty easy to kill. They're all small, but it's still kind of it's just annoying because you can't always see them. Losing in. Lose your weapons. Two sets of bosses right off the top.
Trust me, I understand. But we are more alike than you know. We have both tasted what it is to be Nephilim. Join with me, and we can become the masters of this world. I have joined with you as much as I please to. <laughs> Who mocks my every step? I try to shut him out, but his chattering is ceaseless. He takes joy in taunting me. I will not rise to the bait. I will not give in to him. I long for the silence that will come once I secure his head away. There, we did it. I have retrieved Kool's body from the Realm of Shadow. Then let me begin the ritual. But I'm warning you, Kool. You'd better not cross us. Pretty sure I you are surrounded by deceit, young one. I am the least of your concerns. Concentrate, Leah. Soon now. Just a bit longer. Just a moment. Almost. Yes! Body have that have that My on blood it. thunders within me. This fetid air fills my ravaged lungs. I am alive again. You're welcome. You are whole again, Zoltan Kuhl. Now give us the soul stone. Very well. The bargain stands. Quickly to my sanctum. Sanctum. At long last, I can complete my life's work. All will tremble at my power. What is this? How has this happened? The souls of the dead lords of hell have been absorbed into the stone. Abandon your quest, Nephilim. Your allies seek only to control you. With the power I offer, you and I could rule over all creation. You are mad, fool. Give me this stone or I will destroy you. are so empty. Does it trouble you? No. There is an emptiness within me as well. Lords have been triggered. 
It seems my brothers have finally come looking for me. Damn them. I am not ready. Too much of my power is invested in the stone's creation. I must finish it. The future of mankind depends on it. Oh, the locust swarm part is better. And I like the rest of the resist all. Five lords of hell now reside within this stone. Adria, you must tell us the whole truth of this matter. Twenty years ago, during the darkening of Tristram, Cain told me of Zoltan Kuhl's profane soul stone. That's why you left me. You went to mark the demon's souls so that they could be drawn into Kool's vessel. Yes, my daughter. I have sacrificed everything for this. So all the other, uh... All of the other... Evils. Main evils are in the, uh... The soul stone already. Except for, of course, so now Belial, there's still Belial as an Asmodee. I am returning to town. <laughs> Let's see uh, what they have, what she has to say now. Here's Leah, she's got something to say. If I could target her. I'm not sure what I expected it would be like to have my mother back. Wasn't this? She's different from what I imagined. I can see the toll her mission has exacted from her, just as it had with my uncle. What will we do when we've trapped Belial and Asmodan in this old stone? Then I will shatter it, and the Lords of Hell will be no more. Tristram, Decad Cain told me of a black soul stone crafted by a renegade Haradrim. I didn't think anything of it at the time, but later, I realized its true significance. I knew the essences of the five slain lords of hell still existed in our world, so I spent the last twenty years locating and preparing them to be drawn into the stone when it was finished. Finished? Cool was interrupted during his first attempt. Now that the Soul Stone is finally complete, the Lords of Hell have been trapped within it. Know this. I have given everything. Even my own blood, my own daughter, so that I could hunt Belial and Asmodan. Do not question my dedication. I have given more than any, and I will give more before the end comes. Controlling the Black Soul Stone will be perilous. But you can do it? It won't be me who will use it. Only Leah, under my guidance, can wield it. Her power is far greater than mine, and it will ensure our success. We've got to reach the Emperor. He said he can lead us to Belial. Are you certain we can trust the child? We have no choice. But know this. If Belial gets desperate, he will unleash hell upon Chaldeum. So before we face him, we must evacuate the citizens. The Iron Wolves can help. Leah is right. Let us go. Well, we aren't really gonna go. It's kind of a thing. First, let's see if anyone has anything new to say. Please look. You won't be disappointed. How about uh, Irena? Aha! I knew you'd need my help. No, I actually don't. Always wonderful to see you. Oh, Shen does. Do you think I could take a close look at that black soul stone? It's like nothing I've ever seen before. It is no ordinary stone. It is an object of great evil. You think too little of me. The object of my search is as dangerous as anything. My expertise may be of some use to you. <laughs> I am, after all, quite well versed in the knowledge of jewels and stones. Okay, that is everyone. Is there anything 
new to say. Let's quick uh, salvage. And we're going to call it a night. So next time on Diablo 3, we will go back to Chaldeum, down the hill, evacuate the citizens, and then go find and confront Belial. Uh, so, as usual, uh, this is John Crate, signing out.